Hi, this is Nick Horrocks. Welcome to Inside Digital Media Final Cut Pro Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to be looking at Chroma Key Filter. So what we're going to be doing is putting our source footage, this shot on the left, onto a background and dropping some text in. So we end up with three layers of video. Um, so let's go to our sequence. The first thing we do is drag our source foreground footage in. Put it on uh, Video Track 2. The first thing we do once we've got that on the timeline is to add color smoothing and that's down here in the, in the key section color smoothing 411 and uh, go up to here to filters color smoothing 411 appears there um, that's basically to help get rid of some of the jagged edges that we could end up with um, the color sampling you use depends on what your footage is um, so there's 411, there's 420, there's 422 and 444, just depends what your footage is. So you add colour smoothing, as you go along with the project you're going to drop other filters on here. Um, always make sure colour smoothing stays at the top of the stack. Um, filters are applied in a descending order from the top, so um, just make sure that stays on the top all the time. Okay, so the next thing we do is to add our chroma key filter down here in the key section. And uh, it appears up here in the filters. Um, click on the visual button and you'll get this interface. So basically you'll recognize this probably from color correction. Um, you've got your color spectrum up here on the top, your saturation, the amount of color, and your luma, which is the light and dark areas. Uh, this highlighted area here is the current selection range of colors and over here is the select color button which you click and um, so what you want to do is pick the green from a nice flat area around here would be good when you're shooting it's really important to get nice flat lighting on your background um, and uh, just makes life easier when you come to keying it out. So we do that. And you'll see that area is narrowed down. Um, if you hit shift and select your color pipette again, your select color, and just keep going round, keep picking these colors until you've got rid of as much as possible. Okay, that's fine. And we go back to our numeric interface, which is here. So you've got essentially the same controls um, numerically laid out. Um, edge control. This is just the first one to tweak. And just soften it a little bit. Hair is where you often get some problems, and um, it's an area you've got to keep your eye on. Anything like hair and fingers, and then horns. Might be a good idea at this point to change your background so it becomes easier to, to see what you're doing. So there you are, that's pretty good. Just have a closer look. Not bad. Um, this area here we can just simply get rid of by cropping. If we go to our motion tab, crop left. And we'll just check that works because his arm may move into this area in which case we'll have to, to do something else. No, that's fine. It seems to be seems to be fine. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll move him across there a bit, turn our background back on, and now what we can do is put our background in. One of the Incyber backgrounds, Roundel, 
and there you are okay so what we'll do is just spend a little bit more time tweaking that to go back to our chroma key interface I want want to get rid of that green in in his glasses there so shift select color okay that's good now we'll just go back to filters and take some of this spread out and what we can do is have a quick look in the quick view just to see what it looked like still a little bit bumpy around the shoulder there there's some green going on over here as well which we need to get rid of something to bear in mind if your clip has more detail around the edges you could use the blue and green screen filter in conjunction with the matte choker you might get better results so it's a very fine process this is a lot of um, tweaking and adjusting and seeing what works best back to chroma key once more just turn the wire frame off see if we can just pick that up yeah Back to filters. See what we can do with the edge control. Okay. The last thing we'll do is just go and put a bit of a drop shadow on him. Just pull him out of the background. Um, 50 and 50 okay and then we can drop some text in to his left here pop that in there okay now we'll render that okay so if you have a look at that there you go well I hope that was useful it was very brief but uh, those are the basics. Um, it is really something you've got to spend some time on, both in shooting and when you come to doing the post-production itself. But it's worth it. If you've got any ideas for tutorials you'd like to, to suggest, then please do. Um, you can get hold of me on my channel on YouTube, or you can email me at the website. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you again.